today we start one important topics related to dual space okay we know about that dual space uh, so discuss in previous class that means the set of all linear functionals okay from v to one vector space to k have dimension one and the set of all linear functionals is called that means this one from one um, space okay this space is called dual space okay now we are also going to um, um, the means discussion of one theorem okay we write here theorem related to that let p and w let p and w be finite dimensional vector spaces be finite dimensional vector spaces okay over if over if with order basis beta and gamma with order basis beta and gamma respectively okay for any linear transformation t for any linear transformation T okay here V to W V to W the mapping the mapping here T transpose okay here W start to V star okay a W star is denoted by the that means 12 of w okay and p star is denoted by the 12 of p okay we well, prefer w as study p as study okay this one is not that means we just try to just call the w star p star okay then this one you know, that means the mapping t transpose is defined by T transpose G equal to G T okay for all G for all G belongs to W transpose is a linear transformation is a linear transformation is a linear transformation with the property that with the property with the property that t star or t s star here comma star beta star equal to t of beta gamma whole transport okay then we have to prove that we write here too. okay we're also going to further the means process for g belongs to dual of w w star it is clear that it is clear that okay T transpose G equal to G T is a linear functional on P. Okay. Is a linear functional on P. Understood? And hence is in V star. And 
hence is is a g star or b star <laughs> then what happened then we also it is our course okay and going to further discuss about Then what happened here? That means thus P transpose maps W star onto V star. Okay, or into V star. Now we have to prove that P transpose is linear. Okay, or this one is linear, this one too easily. Okay, so P transpose is linear. Now to complete the proof, okay, to complete the proof, let beta equal to x1 x2 dot 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 x and comma equal to comma equal to y1 y2 dot 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 y n with 12 basis with 12 basis okay beta star equal to if one, if two, dot 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 if and gamma star equal to g one, g two, dot 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 c n. Okay, respectively. Then what happened? We erase lower portion and going to further discussion of that. Then for convenience, okay, let a equal to t yeah beta gamma. Okay. To find the z column, to find the z column, okay, of t transpose here, comma star, beta star, we begin by, we begin by expressing expressing t transpose g j okay as a linear combination as a linear combination of the vectors of of the vectors of beta star okay then what happened then we have we have what we have t transpose j j equal to g j t okay equal to summation of i equal to one to n g j t okay here is a if is okay sorry mm -hmm. Here is equal to one to n. Okay. Then this one is done. So, so what happened? So the row i and column j. So the row i, column j. Entry of. Entry of. Okay.
टी टर्म स्पोज हियर कॉमन स्टार बीटा स्टार इज ओके तो एज अब अ पर्सन एंड गोइंग टू हैव द डिस्कशन ऑफ दैट then what happen e g j t here x x i equal to here c j of t x i not a problem at all and then this one equal to c j of here t x i equal to what k equal to 1 to m K K I Y K understood then this one equal to what K equal to 1 to A K K I and then C J Y K okay then C J Y K equal to here K equal to 1 to M A K I delta J M okay sorry delta j k here k okay then what happen then this one equal to a j i okay then what we get hence we get what we get t times both here gamma star here beta star equal to a times four. Okay. Then what happened? Then we also write here. Okay. This one T times four of comma star beta star equal to a times 4 a equal to what t of beta gamma okay this one times so this one equal to done okay not a problem at all too easily we also discuss this theorem okay then t times 4 equal to what then we write mark star t times 4 okay linear transform be a linear transformation be a linear transformation and is called is called transpose of t okay that is how transpose of t is obtained we we'll also discuss now okay transpose of t equal to c j t and in this way we also discuss this one okay t transpose is the unique linear transformation and again we we'll give one example related to that talk okay so we erase that portion and going to discuss one example We write here example okay then we start it now we define t p on r to r square okay r square by here t of px equal to what equal to p0 p2 okay now let beta and gamma let beta and gamma be the standard basis be the standard basis okay or standard order basis for for p1 r and r square respectively okay 
standard order basis okay now clearly now clearly clearly what t of beta gamma equal to what t of beta gamma that means t of px equal to 1 then this one is 1 1 okay and px equal to x then this one is 0 2 okay and now we also compute we compute what we compute this one t transpose of beta star gamma star okay then what happened we let beta star equal to f1 f2 okay and gamma star equal to g1 g2 okay then what happened suppose suppose that here t transpose of gamma star beta star sorry t transpose of we write here beta star gamma star okay equal to a b c d then what happened then we write about that then t transpose of g1 equal to a f1 c f2 okay t transpose of c1 equal to what a f1 c f2 and t transpose of g2 equal to what in this way that means b f1 c f2 okay so t transpose of g2 equal to b f1 plus d f2 okay now we also going to discussion okay we erase that portion and we erase our portion and we discussion about that. T transpose of G one one. Then what happened? A F one plus c f2 of 1 okay then what happened a f1 1 and c f2 1 okay then what happened a1 plus c 0 then what happened equal to a okay then this way and obviously again we write T transpose of G that means G one one equal to what here T transpose of G one one okay sorry T transpose of G one one equal to what equal to g1 of t1 okay then what g1 of 1 1 equal to what equal to 1 okay so so a equal to 1 understood not a problem at all and in this way we are also going to discussion of another portion okay That means T transpose of okay T transpose of here T transpose of G one X equal to what A F one plus C F two X okay then what happened then this one equal to a f1 x plus c f2 x equal to what 
a f1 x equal to what mm, that means we also see that okay mm. f1 1 and f2 1 equal to 0 so f1 1, x equal to what f1 x equal to 0 and f2 x equal to 1 okay understood then here this one equal to c okay that means f1 and f2 um, how we obtain f1 is obtained 1 0 okay then f1 1 equal to 1 and f2 1 equal to 0 f1 um, and f2 1 equal to 0 and here um, in this way um, f1 x equal to 0 and f2 x equal to 1 okay so this one is c and now it is that portion and going to further discussion of that that means t transpose g1 of x equal to what g1 of tx okay then tx equal to what mm, we know about that okay t1 equal to 1 1 okay and tx equal to 0 2 that means g1 of 0 2 okay g1 of 0 2 then g1 equal to what g1 of 0 2 equal to g1 that means this respect to what this respect to 1 okay and g2 this respect to what this respect to x that means g1 sorry the g um, that means um, beta star and comma star okay uh, that means uh, here uh, okay g1 equal to then what g of 0 2 g 1 0 2 equal to what g 1 0 2 equal to that means here 0 1 2 multiplied by g 1 2 multiplied by 0 1 okay that means 2 g 1 0 1 okay then g 1 0 1 equal to what G1 1 0 equal to 1 and G2 1 0 equal to 0 and G1 0 1 equal to 0 so 2 multiplied by 0 0 okay not a problem at all understood this one how we obtain if we elaborate this one is this one we elaborate then in this way we will obtain c1 110 plus 101 okay then c this one equal to um, that means if we obtain here c110 and c101 okay this one zero this one one so this one is one and here in this way we obtain okay so what we get we get from here so c equal to zero okay not a problem at all then we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that that means we just evolute a and c okay now obviously remain b and d and what we know now we know that this one um, just we write here this one t transpose of g2 equal to okay b f1 plus t f2 okay we know about t then what happened we write it t transpose of g2 okay g2 of 1 
then what happened? T transpose of G2 of 1 equal to 5 equal to this one BF1 plus TF21. Okay. Then what happened? Then this one equal to B of F11 and D of F21. Okay. B of F11 equal to what? F11 equal to mm, we know about that F11 equal to 1 and here D of F21 equal to 0. So this one is B. Let's do Then again we write T transpose here T transpose G2 of X equal to what? Okay. T transpose of G2 X equal to what? We write B F1 plus T F2 here X. Then what happened? B F1 X plus T F2 X. Okay. Then T F1 X equal to 0 and T F2 X equal to what? 1. Okay, then this one equal to T. Okay, again we write in this way. We write in this way. T transpose G2 here 1 equal to what? T transpose G2 equal to in this way G2 T. T of 1. Then G2 T of 1 equal to what? G2 T of 1 equal to here 1 1. Then G2 1 1 we elaborate this one. G2 um, 1 0 plus 0 1. Okay. Then this one equal to G2 1 0 plus G2 0 1. Okay. Then what happened? G2 1 0 equal to what? G210 equal to 0 and G201 equal to 1. Okay. So B equal to 1. Okay. This gives what? This gives, this implies B equal to 1. And in this way, we also see about that this one T transpose of G2. Okay. Of X equal to what? G2 T of X. Then what happened? G2 T of X equal to what? 0 2. Okay. Then this one equal to what? G2 of mm, here 2 multiplied by 0 1. Okay. Then here 2 1. Then this one equal to 2. Okay. Then what happened? Then this implies that D equal to 2. Okay. So what we obtain, we obtain, we then erase that portion and we find that okay, we obtain a equal to what? A equal to one, c equal to zero, b equal to one, t equal to two, and then what happened? T transpose here comma star beta star equal to what? What we obtain? 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay. A, B, C, D. In this way. So, we also let me discuss um, how to obtain this one. Okay. This T transpose. That means adjoint um, of some linear transformation. Okay, how we mm, obtain this? We also discuss this one. Then we write here T transpose of G1 equal to what? Equal to F1 plus so just F1. Okay, and T transpose of G2 equal to what? Equal to we write this one mm, that means F1 plus 2F2. Okay. So now we also show that T transpose that means T of gamma beta equal to what? T of beta gamma with respect to beta gamma equal to this one given 1102. One, okay. This transpose equal to this transpose equal to 1012. Okay. Then what we obtain? So here 
T transpose of comma star beta star equal to T transpose T of okay beta gamma was transpose okay understood not a problem at all so today we discuss this one if you get this type of videos please subscribe my channel and if you um, want to give like please click on like options and if you have any questions comment suggestions i did in comment box so i think this theorem also proved this theorem we also discussed today and we also discussed transpose of some linear transformations all are understand this i think so today i stop here